Hi, welcome back to the workshop here at Clean Classics. I'm Ollie. This time we will be mainly looking at the wiring that's gone into making the conversion for the Suns 4x4 car. Um, we're pushing to get this done as soon as we can. And yeah, there's been a big job on to get all of the different wiring looms in the car done. And so there's some that are inside the battery boxes. There's, there's one that's mounted to the vehicle itself. So yeah, that's been the main bit of progress. We've also been finalizing the programming on the Series 3. Cool new little feature that we'll, we'll have a look at later. But yeah, really pleased with how this thing's been. Back in the left-hand drive Dutch car for, um, for Suns 4x4, we've been building all the wiring looms this week and, and running them into the vehicle. It's a bit different because it's a left-hand drive car, so the, the instruments are on the other side, so we've got to run wires a, diff a bit further, so I've been making a note of, of cable length so that, we can, so that we can replicate it if we if we have to build another left-hand drive loom. So the comms looms, the comms looms all in, the motor and inverter's connected, and everything, everything for our system is, is run. I've run a load of it through the dash because it's a bit of a patina car. Didn't want, didn't want shiny new cables everywhere, so, so I've, yeah, to, to conceal it, I've, I've run, run most of the wiring up behind the dash and across to the, across to the other side. So as you can see, we've, we've run all the wiring loom through and we've just roughly laid it out where it's got to go, run it to where it's got to get to. We'll mount it and go through it all later on. As you can see, these cables all go to the, uh, these go to the, the dials and gauges and the, and the heat control. Um, yeah, it's all, it's, all, it's all getting pretty close. We've just got to, got to finish connecting it all up. So these are the battery packs that are nearly ready to go into the uh, into the into the Dutch car, and yeah, they're all built up into their into their battery frames. And Fred's just working on the uh, on the on the third pack. As you can see, we fit we fit individual contactors to each battery box. It's one of the things that we do slightly differently to other converters. It's just a it's just an extra an extra safety feature, so that each when the when the when the system's off, each battery box. Is, is, is safe and isolated. So these are ready now to have the bus bars added and have their, their BMS looms added to them and the HV wiring, and then they can be built up into the battery boxes. So this is the BMS module from the Nissan LEAF. So BMS stands for Battery Management System, obviously. Each one of the cells within the system is monitored and balanced by, by this, little, this clever little box here. So each one of these cell taps, and there's 98 of them in total, has to go to the corresponding correct cell in the battery packs. So it's quite complicated to, to make up this, this, this loom and get all of the right wires in the right place, basically. And so we've also got temperature sensors. So each, each pack has its own sensor as well, monitoring temperature and reporting back to the BMS that controls all of that stuff. Yeah, and so this this is a jig that we've made for making up the looms for the under seat boxes. So this is this is how the how the the cell taps connect connect directly to each individual cell within the pack. And then that you can see there is a uh, is a is a temperature sensor which is from the leaf pack, and that's that's reporting back each individual pack temperature to to the BMS. This is our um, front pack, which goes underneath our top box in the engine bay. I've just been doing some testing, putting it, putting it into, the, into the box that it will be sat in, just getting everything set quite right, because there's quite a bit of tolerance where you can, you can move the pack about. So I've, I've just compressed it to, to the factory, factory level, put on all of the BMS lines, but I've, I've left, out, left out a few of the lines, like the service disconnect line and the high voltage lines, just so it's a bit safer for me to work on lifting it in and out of, in and out of boxes repetitively. So yeah, that's, that's, that's what this is. Hopefully in the next couple of days, it'll be in the car and ready to go with the loom fully built up, wired into the top box. This Series 3, we are coming to the end of the road in terms of getting it set up now we're going to take it back on friday to its owner really happy with how the system's gone in it's actually driving better than it was before the this last few days we've just been getting the, the charging dialed in 
Um, it's, it's, it's happily sitting there charging now. So yeah, really pleased with how it's gone together. Another new feature we managed to add with this new system, which is quite fun, is the, um, the brake lights now turn on when Regen's active. So it's a nice little added safety feature that, that's working really nicely with this system. Hello viewers, um, I'm back again on the channel purely to remind you that you should subscribe because we've been noticing the vast majority of you are not subscribing and we need you to help push our channel. So please help us out and subscribe to the channel. As you can see, this left-hand drive vehicle is already equipped with servo-assisted brakes. So vehicles that are already, already servo-assisted, we fit a 12-volt vacuum pump and they're pretty common for, for EV conversions. But we also go a bit beyond that and we fit a reservoir with a, with, a, with a vacuum sensor. And then that's all wired in through the PDM. So there's logic that controls when the pump kicks in and out so you don't end up with the pump cavitating or burning itself out prematurely. Thanks for watching. As always, please like and subscribe if you've been enjoying the uh, content we've got. Put a comment down, let us know if there's anything you'd like to see. See you next time.